what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're here in Las Vegas for the 2021 edition of the SEMA show. And guess what? Walking around the production floors, we had to stop at the Chevrolet booth for this one. This is it. This is an updated new 2022 Chevrolet Copo Camaro. But before we get into this factory packed muscle car, for the drag strip, let's talk about what's going on here. The Chevrolet Camaro, it's been around since 1967. So many great models from the SS, the Z28, the ZL1. Well, guess what? The Copo Camaro is an interesting story. It all goes back to the 1960s when dealers were able to use a special ordering process that was originally intended just for fleet work vehicles, that central production order process was able to get things done and get them to dealerships that normally would not happen. But it was all about COPO, Central Office Production Order. For 2022, they decided to bring a new power plant, 9.4 liters of muscle car V8 goodness. And guess what? This is turnkey ready. What that means is you put your order in, you can then enter this in the NHRA Superstock class to go up against the Cobra Jet Mustangs and of course the Dodge Challenger drag pads. Now, there are some changes, like I said, for 2022, but what I wanna find out is, is this the ultimate of the muscle car Camaros going with the Copo? Unfortunately, can't drive it on the street, but you could take it to the drag strip. Let's dive into this 2022 Copo Camaro for 2022 model year and find out is it the ultimate muscle car Camaro? Right off the bat, the styling. You're gonna notice a lot of stock styling and it all starts at the front of the business. So what you're gonna get is headlights, just like you would on your street car with that projector beam style headlight, LED daytime running lamp, working your way down. You see the front fascia has that functional air curtain here, some gloss black, some flat black, but this is just like on your Camaro SS from the factory. Now, as we come across the front grill area, it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen once the Camaro disappears from the lineup. But like I said, for 2022, bringing that style, I do like the way you have that full functionality of the open grill area. And behind here, you're gonna find all the proper modifications that you're gonna want at the drag strip coming right from Chevrolet. And there's that badge, Copo, the Copo Camaro central office production order goes back to the 1960s still has been in existence today but as we rise up and take a look at underneath the hood what you're going to notice first is this hood is actually carbon fiber so you get a carbon fiber custom hood love the way it's got the chevrolet bow tie the copo badge at the back of it obviously being carbon fiber to cut weight but the big news is that muscle car size v8 engine 9.4 liter 572 cubic inch V8, produces 430 horsepower. You got cast iron block, aluminum heads, forged steel crankshaft rod, rods, and forged pistons from the factory. What's great about this setup is that it is turnkey. You can see that massive intake plenum up top. Love the look of it, the bright Chevy orange on the valve covers, and you can see our aluminum heads and that block down there, bright orange. Now this, like I said, is gonna give you that performance that a lot of people want. And what's interesting is that for the first time, they're not gonna limit the production of the Copo Camaro. Traditionally, with this vehicle, it was just kept at 69 units. This one, they're gonna make as many as people want, and that's gonna be extra exciting, but it's not just about what's underneath the hood. And speaking of that, there's actually two other engine options that you could go with, which we're gonna talk about in a second, but it's the whole complete package. Let's come around and take a look at what we got. So when you're going to the drag strip, you're gonna want a special suspension setup, wheel and tire. So what we have are these beautiful Copo branded wheels, nice style, all set up perfectly. You're gonna have some slotted brake rotors in there. Rotors are very small on drag vehicles because it's not about ultimate braking, it's about ultimate straight line acceleration. But I love the style with these Hoosier uh, drag slicks. And of course, you have the skinnies up front. We got strange axles that really are gonna take that beating of all that power and performance. Now, graphics package, 
looking really good with the 572. Like I said, this is the introduction of that 9.4 liter naturally aspirated V8, but I love the graphics on the fender, gives it that nice extra look, and then that carbon fiber hood, absolutely seductive with a functional air scoop on the hood where that gray area is, that's gonna allow the air to come on in, but loving the paint job as it goes all the way down, the over the top stripes all the way down to the back, and of course, we got the side stripes all the way down the side of the vehicle as well. Now, when it comes to suspension, it's all about softening the suspension because at the drag strip, when that light turns green or technically yellow, you always wanna go on yellow, by the way, we want to get that proper sag at the back to get that launch that we expect. What's gonna help with that launch are these super size slicks back here. So you're gonna have nice wide slick tires to get the traction to the ground. And that's why you see drag racers do the burnouts in the water box is to get these slicks all nice and sticky. Don't do that with your street tires. So if you go to the strip with your street Camaro SS, skip the water box, drive around the water box because what happens is water could actually get trapped in the channels, the grooves, and that actually could cause a problem when you go to launch. With these, you wanna get them nice, hot and sticky. As you can see, that width of the wheel with the way that you have the inset of, like I said, that Copo style wheel, you got the strange axles and brake setup back here to give you that durability with all that horsepower hitting all at once. Love the way the car sits, especially with the amount of wheel gap between the inside of the fender and the top of the tire there. Chevrolet performance, nicely done. And then coming towards the rear, one of the important things about a car like this is that you're gonna have to have a parachute to slow down. This is required by the NHRA, the National Hot Rod Association. So from the factory, not something you add, we have a full Simpson uh, parachute setup nicely done and then of course as we drop down we got factory installed wheelie bars love the way that it gives it that look but this is also going to help with performance the way it works is is the wheelie bars are going to stop wheelies from happening you do not want a big massive wheelie you want a proper mouse so you could actually adjust the length of the wheelie bars depending on how much you want the front of the vehicle to rise on acceleration but you can see from the back it looks like stock Camaro SS and that's what I love about the Copo is that this has that stock look but with all the drag performance accessories. Coming around the corner here I want to show you this plaque that they have which really ties in the history so what they're showcasing here is we have in this particular car the 2022 Copo you could get a 572 cubic inch V8 that's what we're looking at now you could step it up if you want to go Copo 427, you could go with a 427 cubic inch V8, or you could go with a supercharged 350. Now, what about prices? For this particular vehicle, you're looking at a starting price of $105,500. So that's another big question. Is this worth the price? And like I said, these cars are gonna go up. There's a specific class where you're gonna go up against the Ford Cobra Jet with the Mustangs. Obviously, the Challenger Drag Packs, that's another competitor in this class. But with EVs becoming more prevalent and Chevrolet has already showcased an EV powered Copo Camaro, it's gonna be interesting to see what direction they're gonna go in. I don't know, I don't know if it'd ever be the same to not hear the sound of that 572 cubic inch V8 and not get excited anymore to just having EVs. Even though EVs, yes, have greater performance potential, but there's just something about the history, something about the engine sound, something about just that way it makes you feel. Like I remember when I was five years old going to the drag strip for the first time and feeling the cars rip down the quarter mile. What this allows people to do is keep it at a certain price point. Now, with that price of $105,000, for those that are maybe not in the know, it may sound a little expensive, but the thing is, when it comes to racing, you could dump hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars into a drag car program. So this actually does, to a certain extent, make it more affordable. Let me, but let me know what you think. Is this Camaro, is it worth the price? The Copo Camaro with the 9.4 liter, I love saying that, because you don't get to say that very often, 9.4 liter V8 572 cubic inch engine. Is it worth the price? Is this the ultimate? 
Let me know in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rights family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Got to give it up to the muscle behind the camera. We're here at SEMA. She's fighting the crowd. She's getting the cars for you. Show Lori some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.